is one of the most annoying defenders to play against, especially after his rework. Today, I'll show you why he is so strong and why you should be playing him. With Goyo's rework, they took away his two deployable shields. Deployable shields are really strong in the current meta, so people thought Goyo would become super weak. But that's actually far from what really happened. Let's start off with Goyo's loadout. He has the Vector, which has the highest fire rate of all SMGs in the game. He also has a TCSG-12 shotgun with a 2.0 scope. This gun has an insane range, even though it's classified as a shotgun. And as a pistol, he has the P229 pistol. He can pick a nitro cell or two proximity alarms as a gadget. The nitro cell can be great if you want to play vertically, and the proximity alarms can work really well if you put them close to the Vulcan canisters, because you'll get a sound cue of when to detonate them. His gadget, the Vulcan canister, is kind of like a hot pocket. He has four of these, and when one of these detonates, there will be fire spread around for 20 seconds in total. Seeing this amount of utility, he might even be in a better area denial spot than Smoke is right now, who has three canisters that last 10 seconds each. If you time the Vulcan canisters right, you can waste up to 80 seconds on a certain part of the map. That is almost half the round. When Goyo places the canister down, it opens up almost completely. Keep in mind, when you're placing the gadget, you can only shoot the red part of the canister. This is why you'd want to have the red side or the open side pointing at your direction when you place it down. You cannot shoot it from the other side because that part is metal. This means that you shouldn't really place the gadget vertically because it'll make it very difficult to shoot it. Ideally, as a defender, you always want to shoot the canisters to detonate it. Using a C4 or an impact is kind of a waste of utility. So where should I place my Goya canisters? Well, the general rule of thumb is to place them in high pressure areas. You can place them around doorways where you think the enemy might be pushing from. You can put them on default plant positions, but you can also place them on a hatch. This works really well as soon as the attackers start breaching the hatch because there is no way they can get rid of the Vulcan canister without letting it detonate. You can place a Goyo canister on almost everything, even on a regular barricade. If the attacker destroys the barricade, the canister will detonate. And same goes for a wall that is breachable. Similar with the hatch story, with a barricade or breachable wall, there is no way the enemy can get rid of the canister without having to detonate it. You can also just place it on the floor and shoot the canister. It detonates by shooting at the red part or by an explosion. Personally, I would place them right on the wall or a floor next to where the enemy might push from. I would say spread them out as well. Don't place all your canisters at one spot. You cannot chain detonate the canisters, so it wouldn't make sense to place them very close. If you were to place them close and someone would grenade the canisters, they would all detonate at the same time anyways. This means the maximum time you'll get out of all four of your canisters is 20 seconds. And that is not much. Keep in mind that the fire will spread to the floor around where it is placed. So even if you place it somewhere really high, it'll still fall all the way to the floor. Later on in the video, I'll show you some of the best Goyo spots using the height. The fun thing about Goyo as well is that you can play him both as an anchor or as a roamer. You can play vertical with his C4 or you can play on site to easily detonate your canisters. The options are quite endless with this operator. What are some great combinations on the fence? Goyo works great in combination with Maestro. You can use the evil eye to zap the canister so it'll break. A Goyo canister will go underneath a castle barricade, but just slightly. If you place a Goyo canister on a castle barricade, it will break when the canister detonates similar to how it works with a regular barricade. The fire of the canister will spread on the sides of a bulletproof shield, not all the way around it. This means, as a smoke player for example, you can still sit in safety behind your shield if there is fire in front of it. The fire will also go underneath a Surya gate. The fire will not destroy a panda battery, boot jammer, or Kate Electroclaw. The mentioned gadgets will even stay alive if the Vulcan canister detonates right next to the gadgets. Capcan strap will not get destroyed if the Vulcan Vulcan canister detonates. However, if the Capcan trap gets activated by an enemy, the Vulcan canister will detonate. Clash works great to have enemies stand in the fire for longer if you slow them down using her shield. Similar with Melusi's Banshee or Legion's Goo Mine, as these gadgets all slow down attackers. Time to let them burn even longer. Thorin's gadget will not destroy a Vulcan canister, no matter how close you put it to the canister. If an attacker is in the radius of the Thorin Razor Bloom shell and it explodes, it will not do any damage to the canister so it'll stay up and you can still shoot it if you want. While my magnets will destroy the canister if they catch a grenade whilst being placed too close to the canister. As an attacker you should be careful because if your teammate then walks through the fire
fire and dies, you will get reverse friendly fire. And another great combination is you and hitting that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. You're getting quite far on the video, so you must be liking the content. And we are getting really close to 10k subs. All the support is much appreciated. So on to attack, and what are some good gadgets you should use on attack? So you need to keep in mind as well that there is never a way that you can destroy the canister without having the fire spread around. You can use Zero's Argus Launcher to zap the canister, and this will also work with a Twitch Shock Drone. If you use a Fuse Cluster Charge anywhere near the canister, it'll detonate as well. And which gadgets on attack should be considered a waste? Well, you shouldn't use grenades on the canisters, because you can also shoot them. Same goes for Ash or Zofia's gadgets gadgets and even gone sixes. These gadgets have much more value than just to function as an expensive bullet. Something you shouldn't do either is knife the canister or even use Maverick's blowtorch to destroy it. In both of these situations, you'll be too close to the canister and you'll take damage. Unless you're into barbecue toes, but then go ahead. You cannot destroy the canister using Aces Selma or Hibata's pellets. You can use the Hibana pellets, for example, on the wall right underneath it to destroy the canister. IQ and Thatcher do not work with this gadget, so you won't see it on the scanner, for example, because it doesn't run on batteries. Using Flores RC Irritero charge could also be seen as a waste. And now onto the shields on attack. For Montaigne and Blitz goes that you cannot stand in the fire, the shield will not block the fire for you. With Osa, it's a different story though. If you had placed a shield before the fire detonates, the fire will spread to the sides of the shield, but not behind it. Similar to how this works with a defender shield. Shield. You cannot walk into the fire whilst holding the Osa shield though. You will take damage. So what are some of the best Goyo spots? I'll take you through a few different maps. Starting on Cafe, this spot to defend top floor is great. You can have a Vulcan canister on the inside of this minibar, which will be a safe spot to shoot from cocktail. You can even put it on the wall at the minibar, because the fire will fall down anyways. And this is a common plant spot, so attackers cannot continue planting with a fire all around them. On Bank, there's a really good Vulcan canister to defend CCTV. If you place it on the wall at this desk, you can shoot it safely from the rotate or the doorway. The fire will fall to the floor right onto the default plant spot. And if you're gonna barricade any doorways to the side, my advice would be to stick a canister on that one as well. Once the attackers reach that door to the site and break the barricade, the fire will spread around and stop them from entering site for at least 20 seconds. To get down to the basics, ideally you'd put Vulcan canisters somewhere around the default plant spots and even higher up because the fire will fall down all the way to the floor around where the gadget was placed. Have fun creating some cheeky spots for your Vulcan canisters and if you find any make sure to put them in the comments down below. You reached the end of the video. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. We're getting really close to 10k YouTube subs and all the support is really appreciated. Maybe you like this video with 13 tips on how to get more kills or this frost guide as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.